Greetings, everyone. I'm Brian Benz. I'm a cloud advocate at Microsoft, and I'm here to talk to you about using Azure Cosmos DB, Logic Apps, and AI to store and track images. Um, I'm going to jump straight into the demo. Uh, I've got a few things that I want to show you uh, that are pretty cool. Uh, the first thing is up here in the Azure portal. Uh, the Azure portal, if you go to portal.azure.com, for those of you with an account, if you don't have an account, you can sign up for a free trial there. And this is essentially what I've done to build a demo today. Uh, I've got a Logic app and I've got a Cosmos DB account. I've also got a storage account and a bunch of API connections that I've built. And I'll show you why I did this and how as we go along here. Uh, it all started when I saw that the United States Postal Service has a new service. So apologies for those of you who are outside the US who don't have this service, obviously, uh, you might have something equivalent with your own local post office. But basically what it does is it allows you to set up an account on the US Postal Service website. You verify your identity, then you start getting emails with images of your actual mail. Uh, it usually comes the day before you, it's going to arrive, so it's kind of handy. You know what's going to come to your mailbox. Uh, this is some samples of what the mail looks like. And once again, you might have something in other countries that uh, is equivalent, but uh, basically, this is a really good one. Uh, this is the best quality image that they send. Each image is sent as a JPEG image, which is kind of handy. Uh, for processing. So what I thought is, all right, this is interesting. I signed up for the service. I'm getting it. How could I actually start gathering statistics on the mail I've got? Am I getting a lot of junk mail? Am I getting a lot of mail from a certain credit card company or a bank and start collecting info on what I get in the physical mail so I don't have to keep track of it so much? Uh, did I get something from somebody a month ago? I can look it up. Uh, that kind of stuff. So kind of virtualizes your mail. So anyway, uh, this one is nice, full color. Then you got a little more challenging image here. You can see this is the quality of the images and how they actually get delivered. It's fuzzy. Um, they're not high quality images. And here's one with tons of challenges, right? So this particular one has a postmark over top of the return address. It's got some diagonal text. And even this down here, uh, you know, is Cosmos, is, uh, are we going to be able to read this using optical character recognition? Uh, and this is the challenge I had. So this is what I decided to use. I use Azure Cognitive Services Computer Vision. And Computer Vision Service uh, has algorithms that basically enable OCR, optical character recognition. The optical character recognition extracts text from images, just like it says right here. Uh, and you can use the read API to extract that. So perfect, that's what I wanted to use. Well, how do I actually automate that though? How do I get it from my email inbox into an actual piece of data that I can use? Uh, well, I used Azure Logic Apps to do that and I used Cosmos DB to store the data. And there's a couple of things in between that I do as well. Azure Logic Apps is a way to automate with very little code, in this case, no code, uh, different processes based on triggers. And so I'm using a few different triggers here to actually make this work. And the solution looks something like this. So this is the Azure portal once again. If you go into your resource group, uh, there is an actual imager that you can see. So this is a sort of a hierarchical image of our resource group that we're working with here. Um, it's got something called Cognitive Services. I named it ReadMail. That's my name. The Cognitive Service is the actual tool that's used to read the mail. I've got a Cosmos DB account, which is where we actually store the data. Uh, I've got the Logic app. The Logic app actually works with several connections. Uh, and the mail reader itself uh, is a storage account. What happens, this is a little trick, uh, when you're using cognitive services, it has to actually has a, have a physical location where it can find the thing it's working with. Uh, and to do that, I had to use a storage account in this case. There is a new feature as of October 2022 that allows you to have streaming. So you can use video and images and things like that streamed to the cognitive service. But at the time I built this, uh, the capability wasn't available. And also it's good for troubleshooting to have the original 
image stored somewhere so you can refer back to see what went right, what went wrong when it comes to processing the image. So that in a nutshell is the structure I have here. The Logic app connects to storage. It connects to cognitive services. It connects to Outlook and it connects to document DB, which is basically the connection that we use to connect to Cosmos DB. All right. So the Logic app itself, this is the Logic app. Uh, the way I set it up is inside of Outlook, you can choose to put incoming mail into a folder automatically. In this case, I put it into a folder called Mail Reader 2020. And this particular Logic app, when it's running, enable is enabled to basically monitor that folder for any new email that arrives. Uh, include attachments, you say yes. Uh, and then for each attachment, you create blob storage and you create it in something called a container called Mail Reader Inbox. Um, you store the attachment uh, blob is going to be the attachment name, so the name of the image that gets stored. And you can store some context. In this case, that's the actual image. Um, the next thing we do is now that we have this in the blob, that triggers another piece of the workflow. The, when the new item goes into the blob, uh, it actually passes an ID. So it takes the ID that was created when this image was put into storage and it passes it to a for each condition. That for each condition says every time there is an image, and I had to make this image equal to JPEG. That's a little tip uh, because there were some other things that were attachments in the email that were advertisements and things like that that weren't JPEGs. And if that happened, the uh, character recognition choked on it. So uh, I made sure each time there is an image in the attachment that is a JPEG image, that means that's a image of mail that's being sent to me, uh, we trigger optical character recognition. So the first thing we do, Outlook, a new thing, new item in the folder triggers blob storage. And then a new item in blob storage triggers the for each condition. That for each condition processes the blob, it gets an ID and you're gonna need that ID later for Cosmos DB. So that's why you do that. Uh, then you take that file content, which is the image, you pass it to optical character recognition to JSON. This is a pre-built condition that's in a logic app. And that returns a JSON document. Now, on top of that JSON document, uh, once that's actually created, we pass that JSON document to Cosmos DB. So this is the Cosmos DB part of the Logic App. Uh, we go into a database called ReadMail, collection ID ReadMail1, and we have a document that gets created. The actual document is down here in the attachment ID and the response. So that's actually the OCR document. Everything else here is passed from blob. And I just decided because I could to pass some statistics from the blob. And this is really useful for troubleshooting if the OCR is not going the way it should. So if you see just garbage coming into your JSON document in Cosmos DB, you can go back trace this through to the blob and open the image and check out what was that original image uh, and why is it having trouble reading the OCR. Okay, so you add a, a e tag, a location, metadata, attachment type is in this case JPEG and just bookmark that attachment type because it's important. Um, and then uh, you take the attachment ID and the JSON response, which is the actual generated OCR from the document, and you pass it an ID. The ID is critical because you need, remember I kept the ID from blob storage and I passed it into here. Uh, the ID is critical for creating a unique ID in Cosmos DB. Every entry that you have in Cosmos DB has to have that unique ID. Uh, so we actually use the original blob ID. So that once again, makes it easy for tracing back to the blob too. Then you have a partition key value, which is required in this particular instance. Uh, and the partition key value is always gonna be JPEG. So we're just using a media type 
JPEG, but it could be anything that helps you build partitions based on your storage strategy. All right, uh, that's done. So basically that in a nutshell is what happens. Uh, you retrieve the email, you do the for each, for each attachment in that email. Uh, and inside of that for each, if there's a JPEG image, you get the OCR, you get the blob content, uh, and you pass it over to Cosmos DB. And inside of Cosmos DB, here's a sample. Um, this is the top part of it. Uh, and it just tells you what the E tag, the blob location, and all the details are uh, without getting into the actual mail, which has my personal information in it. But um, you can see how that works uh, for, this is a really brief overview. If you need more details, I have outlined this in a blog post that we covered last September in serverless September uh, called Logic Apps and Computer Vision. And it outlines the everything step by step that you need to make this work. Um, you can also find you can find that at ACA MS slash Cosmos Mail Reader. Uh, and I've got a few other links here, but that's the one you need. ACA MS slash Cosmos Mail Reader will take you to the step by step that you need for this particular uh, example. So that's using Azure Cosmos DB, Logic Apps and AI to store and track images. Uh, my name is Brian Benz. You can find me on Twitter, Mastodon, GitHub, and a few other places at bbenz. And I welcome your questions. <laughs>